And let's, let's welcome our Facebook and YouTubers. Give them a hand, would you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Great, great day to be in the house of the Lord. The sun's shining. It's turning spring. The, the weather's warm, and we're just going to have an awesome time. I already feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God Lord. is fixing to do something great. I'm excited. So excited about what God's about to do. Amen. Yes, amen. Uh, in case I forget, because sometimes when the service gets moving, I forget. Don't forget next Saturday. Next Saturday the 1st. Right? Next Saturday the 1st at 6 o'clock. Uh, Brother Doug Lawson from uh, Corbin, Kentucky is going to be here ministering. and you, I can tell you it's going to be an awesome time in the house of the Lord. God's Amen. about to do something great. So make plans, and let's just come expecting God to move. Brother, Brother Doug says he's got a word for this church. Amen. And I'm ready for a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. And uh, we just uh, we thank God. So I'm making that announcement in case I do forget. We'll, we'll make it a little later, God willing. God is so good, is he not? So good. Amen. I, I just feel like something good about to happen. I don't know. We used to sing that song years ago. I feel like something good yes, is amen. about to happen. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I just feel like something good is about to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're so glad this morning to see you. Can we stand and let's go to the Lord in prayer? Thank you, Jesus. Gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you and we praise you, Lord, and we worship you. Lord, we thank you for this great privilege it is to be in your house. I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you've done this week, the testimonies that we have heard, God. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for what, what you do today, God. We ask that you'll minister every heart in this place, Lord, every one that hears this God their needs will be ministered to Lord Father this is the day that you have made Lord and we have come together Lord to lift you up Lord and we just give you praise this morning Lord every need be met Lord hallelujah every need be met glory to God hallelujah receive our worship today glory to God good to have brother Carl and Brother Carlos with us this morning. Amen. Amen. Good to have uh, good to have Joe and uh, Joe and Diana with us today. They, we used to see them on Thursday. You got off today. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say this because his boss might watch us, but he said he had a personal day. <laughs> personal day is a day with the Lord. Amen. And so we're good to good to again be with us this morning. God's got something good. Sister Sheila, get ready to just call us in the worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. We're gonna yes, after Sister Sheila calls us in, we're gonna have Brother Carl to just remain standing and I hope he sings that song. But that let's just stand up and worship the Lord. Yes, Brother Lord Sister Sheila. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>
I just can't stop praising his name. No, I just can't stop praising his name. No, I just can't stop praising his name. Oh, no, I just can't stop praising the name of Jesus. Oh, I just can't stop praising his name. No, I just can't stop. of the Lord I know the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I see his goodness in the land of the living I will see his goodness in the land of the living I will see his goodness in the land of the living I will see his goodness in the land of the living I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I have tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I've tasted and seen the goodness of the Lord I know he's been good to me and I know he has set me free and I know he has healed me I have seen the goodness of the Lord in the land I've seen the goodness of the Lord in the land I have seen the goodness of the Lord in the land I've seen his goodness seen his goodness and I know he's been good to me and I know he has set me free Hallelujah. Come on, so church. We praise the Lord. Stand with us right now. Oh, we praise Stand the Lord. Oh, we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord. 
the Lord. So we praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Come on. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I want to say this. Let me just say this right very fast. When they, when they start singing that song, I just can't stop praising the Lord. I, my body didn't feel like praising the Lord. My spirit was rejoicing, but sometimes your body don't feel like it. And so I told God, I said, God, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a sacrifice and an offering of praise. And I begin to dance to the Lord. And so I want to go old school on you just a second. Because I believe that we can give God the greatest offering that we can today. An offering of worship and praise right now. Hallelujah. I believe we can get out of our comfort zones. You say, Pastor, I don't feel like it. That's when you need to do it the most. You may say, I'm in the midst of a big trial. That's when you need it the most. Because I'm going to I'm going to share something with you here in a little bit. But I, I want to say this. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. Sometimes you don't even want to. But if there's an ounce of the Spirit of God in you, you will. Did you hear what I said? If there's any of God in you, you will. Because that spirit will have to cry out to God. I don't know. Man, we haven't done this song in years and years. But I just feel it in my heart. And I know they can do it because it's, I don't even know if it's a song or just, I don't even know what it is. But there's, there's one we used to sing years ago. I don't know what you came to do. But I come to praise the Lord. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I just felt the Holy Ghost. <laughs> what you come to do. And I like this one. I come, I, I added this. I don't even know if it's part. I come to dance a little while. You see, the trouble with most of you, you don't ever want to dance. I'm preaching to somebody. You better, can I say this? I don't talk to hear myself. You better clean out your ears because God's talking. Some of you have never danced in the Spirit because you don't want to, and God's demanding it of you. You say, find that in the Bible. The Bible says, praise ye the Lord. Let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what you came to do.
that I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I don't know what you came to do. Praise the Lord. I come to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do. But I came to praise the Lord. breaking forth a new work and a mighty anointing shall break forth this day, saith the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. It's not next week. It's not next month. Yea, I say to thee, it's today that... Come on now. You know what the Lord showed me? He showed me an egg breaking open. He says it's busting forth not life immediately. Come on. Well, I I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Oh, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to obey the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Oh, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Oh, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Well, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I don't, I don't know, know what, what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I don't know 
what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Well, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I don't know what you came to do. But I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Oh, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Oh, I don't. But I came to praise the Lord. Oh, I don't, I don't know what you came to do. But I came to praise the Lord. Well, I don't know what you came to do. But I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Well, I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Somebody touch me at no hymns. The hand of the Lord. Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me. No, it was the hand of the Lord. Ooh. Oh, praise Hallelujah. Church, let's let the Holy Spirit do it. Sister. Sister Karen, stand up just for a moment. Hallelujah. I'm not going to tell you nothing you don't already know, but I just I'll tell you what I feel in my spirit right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> that kidney stone is busting up. <laughs> Now that's a miracle. Oh, Give God some praise. God is just, I'm telling you, this is just the beginning of what God's about to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. Oh, oh how I love Jesus.
so wonderful to me. He is so Jesus. Jesus. God. 
has brought us safe thus far and his grace it will lead us home praise god praise god praise god oh praise god 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 praise him hallelujah glorify him praise his holy name praise god hallelujah praise him praise him praise him hallelujah let's all stand and praise him glory hallelujah Glory unto the Lamb. Praise unto God. Thank you, Lord, for our salvation. Thank you, Lord, for our souls. Thank you, Lord, for our sacrifice, oh, Lord, that we may be free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Let us lift our voices and praise him. Glorify him. Glorify him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Glorify the Lord. For he is God. He is all power. He is all good. He is all in all. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Shout our voices. Lift our voices into the heavens and praise him. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Glorify you. Glorify you, Lord. I bow down before you, Lord, and I lift your name above all things. Praise God. Hallelujah. For thine is great. Thine is great. Thou art great, O Lord. And thou keepest me, O Lord, in thy glory. Thou hold a shun that I lie. O Lord, my keeper, my blesser, O Lord, praise you. Praise you, Lord. And I bow down before you, God, and I glorify your name. And I, oh Lord, oh God, and everything I do, oh Lord, I praise your name. Oh, let us shout, let us praise. Glory unto God, hallelujah. Our salvation. Praise you, Lord. For whom am I, O Lord, that thou lovest? O Lord, who am I but thy child, O Lord God, and I give my heart and soul unto you? O Lord, who am I but oh, let me lift you on high? Praise you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Shalom, my holy Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, praise your name. Jesus, glory unto you, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah. Let us shout your name from the housetops, O oh Lord. Let us stand before ye, Lord, I shine holy unto you, Lord. Praise be unto you, Lord. Let us have our hearts be blessed. Hilo Mahashanani Hikesh. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, oh glory. Oh, glory. Praise you be Lord. Praise you, Lord. Mm. 
Oh, let me sing praises to you, Lord. Praises, Lord. Glory, Jesus. Ela Mahashedele Oh It's all about you Lord Jesus Oh Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Coming down from the Father above. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 I say to thee this day, have I not sent my spirit and my glory upon my people today? Yea, I say to thee, this is the beginning of something. Yea, I say this is just a small portion of what I'm about to do to the earth. Kula bakata. Yea, my spirit will go forth even to the lowest parts of the earth and even to the highest. Yea, every tongue, every nation, every people shall know my spirit, saith the Lord. Yea, I say to thee today, Thou hast witnessed my glory fall, and thou shalt know that I am God. I say to thee today, do not take this lightly and seek my face and know that I am there for thee and that the best is still yet to come. I say to thee today, yea, set thy priorities upon me. I 
I say to thee, I will require of thee. I will require of thee your attention. Yea, I will require of thee thy time. And yea, I will require thy voice. Yea, thou shalt see my hand move mightily, and thou shalt know that I am God. Yea, I say to thee, but thou must obey my voice and know that I am God. Yea, I say to thee, even in the wee hours of the day, yea, when it seems the driest, you shall know my spirit because it shall rest upon you mightily. Yea, when the enemy comes against thee in a mighty force and the battle seems to be lost, thou shall know my spirit, and yea, the victory shall be yours. I say to thee that today thou must change thy mindset to know that th you are now in a place of victory and not defeat. Yea, I say to thee, thou Amen. must operate in the perspective of victory and not in defeat. Because I say to thee today, I have anointed thee for such a time as this. Yea, I say to thee, hear my voice and hearken unto them. Take warning, take warning, take warning. If you let this go in one ear and out the other, yea, thou shall know that I am God, but thou shall not partake thereof. Receive unto the Lord today. Yea, can we just raise our hand over this building and give God some praise? praise, you, Lord. praise Hallelujah. You. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think that we're in a comfort zone and, and Satan's not going to attack us. But we have our shields. We have our armor. Let us use it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you think things are down and, not, and you see no hope, lift your eyes unto Christ. Amen. Because He is our salvation. Amen. This world has nothing to do with what our salvation is. Amen. It's totally against our salvation. Yeah. Our salvation lies only in Christ. Amen. And when we lift our eyes and travel to, towards Him and walk towards Him and walk with Him. I love that old song, Have a Closer Walk With Me. So Lord, I ask this every day. Let me walk with you, Lord. Let me Amen. walk with you. Let me talk with talk you. Talk with you. Praise His holy name. I tell you what, I don't know how many times Satan comes to me and he says he tries to oppress me. He tries to put me down. Say, I'm not. And this is coming against me and that's coming against me. Come on. I say, Lord Jesus, you are my hope. Not in this world. There is nothing in this world. In that one song that I wrote, I said, take these chains and break them for the cares of this world. Well, it does not matter what we do here on earth. What treasures we lay up because it is temporal. Amen. Everything about this world is only temporal. But we look for the eternal. Amen. We look to the heavens that we might. Yes. Our soul is never going to die. Let's, let's, let's live it with Christ. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a crop of worship in the house. I want to I share something with you this morning. You'll have a little bit better understanding of what God did. I, can't, I will not go into it all because it would take time, but for the last three weeks, God's been showing me things. And Sister Karen, it's been very hard. You ever, I tell you how it's been for the last three weeks, or maybe four. You know, it's about like when, when, when Sister Lisa was born, Sister Becky and I was, when you give birth, you know you're excited, but yet you know there's... There's a, a dread. And, and, I, and so Thursday night, I won't go into all that, but Thursday night, the Lord showed this to me. And he told me, he said, today, I want you to begin to speak life back to the church. And he showed me the, he showed me the church, and I seen it was all laid out, and I could see the rest in peace on it. And the Lord says, I want you to speak life. Brother uh, Smith Wigglesworth said this before he died 75 years ago. One of his, I guess it's his last prophecy. And if you know, if you've studied Smith Wigglesworth, he never missed a prophecy. Every prophecy he done come to pass. And this is what he said, his last prophecy. I believe it's his last. They say it was. He said that there's going to be a great falling away of the church. 
And uh, in the last two years, we've had 76% of our churches had a great falling away in, in the world. And he says, during this falling away, he said, God's going to speak to the church. And I'm putting this in my word. But the greatest move of God's going to come out of this. The greatest move of God. And so here's what happened. I was, I was going, I'm going to speak life to this church. But all week long, I said, God, it cannot be about pastor. I've been saying that for, I said, it cannot be. And I said, I want, I prayed, I said, God, I want to be a part of it. But if I'm going to be a hindrance, I want out of it. I mean, I'm just telling you how honest. I don't want to hinder God's work. I said, if, if I'm not going to be a hindrance. And so, the day when the Lord laid me out there, told me to lay out, I was representing the death of Bill Chapman. And Sister Dot told me, said, the Lord said, don't you get up till I tell you. And so I said, God, you're going to have to tell me. And the Lord began to show me things that needs to be death. And then I began to say, God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. I don't want to be just baptized. I want to be full. And then I said, God... The Lord says, and then I'm not just saying it's me because I'm not putting this on me, but it's, it's, the, it's this body of believers that God's calling. We're going to bring forth life. And so I said, God, I was, I was there, and I said, God, what? I said, I will not get up till I hear your voice say, Bill, come forth. I said, I will not. And... I don't know how long I don't time things, but as I was laying there, so I heard of I heard it in my mind, Bill come forth. I said, God, I said, that's me. I know the difference in my voice and your voice. And a few minutes later, I heard the I heard the voice of the Lord say, Bill, arise. Now preachers and not only preachers but people I, I said God I want to hear that one more time that was sweet but I said Lord when you tell me this time I don't want to get up unless I'm full and the Lord says it ain't going to be an emotion it's a birth I know people probably watch this. They probably said, oh, Bill, you don't understand. You're just saying that because that goes with service. No, I have all these notes written down several days. <laughs> God knows what he's doing way ahead of time. God just doesn't surprise you. And I said, God, I want to be one of them lively stones. And so I heard the Lord say, Bill come forward and I felt the first move of God it was just like Sister Karen or Tom it's like a it's hard to put in words but it's I felt about a 240 volt of power of God hit me it did not leave my body it stayed there do you just, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something Brother Carla, I, I, I agree with what you said. It's just right on because I'm telling you what. God is calling forth a lively church. We're no longer silent or dead. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. If he, I don't know. Sister Denise used to sing his song. You, Amen. Come on.
Amen. And know Amen. The well of Amen. Amen. Come on. I am the river of life. I am And I also heard the worship is changing this day. Mm. Well, that's transition. Come on. We're going. Listen and obey to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. A new creation. Come on. All things. Amen. Yes. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sister.
Maringá. What a, what a mighty God. I, I know they don't know it, but Diane and Karen, all of them, they, they have quoted the scriptures I have wrote down. <laughs> and, and there's one that I'm going to add. This is the one for those that don't take it serious, because some people watch this, they're going to say, I ain't nothing to that. Listen to this. Apostle Paul told Timothy this. He said they heap they heap people around them that teaches and that have their ideals and they're always wanting their ideals and it's what uh, Timothy 413 4, if I got it second uh, Timothy 4 and 3 I'm sorry I, I have the 13 and another but they heap they heap to them teachers of their own pleasure and stuff and this is what I'm going to warn you the move of God that's taking place you better hear God you better hear God because it's easy for us to get comfortable and put people around us that think the way we do God's got there's something coming out of <laughs> Here, I don't know, and I know that Sister Denise used to sing this song, and I, I don't know if anybody in the church sings it, and that's all right, we don't have to sing it, but here's the song that's been on my heart since Thursday. There ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. I'm saying this to the church. There ain't no devil gonna hold the church down. We're coming up out, and we're going to shout with victory, because there ain't no grave or no devil that can hold us down. I speak life unto you. Hallelujah. And Sister Karen, I'm going to just bless you today because God is sending you away from here today as you go home. You're going to begin to feel the presence of God like you have never felt. God is going to begin to move in your life. Glory. Can somebody say, can you raise your hand and just say, I bless Sister Karen. I, I'm, going to, I'm going to just brag on her for a moment. From the day that she walked in this church, She's been a helper. And she calls and she she and no matter what I've asked her, she just does it. And and no complaining. It's just it's awesome. It's just she's such an awesome blessing. So God's gonna bless her back. He's gonna shake it down, press it, and run it over. <laughs> well, they ain't no gray. Gonna hold. My body down. I hear that trumpet sounding. Come on now. You know what that news? Did you hear? I, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't looking. I don't even know what was going on. But I was still kind of in the spirit. But when I was standing here and everybody began to praise the Lord, it went on and on. Did you hear that? It sounded like about a thousand people here. You know why? Because there's a host of angels joining in with us. <laughs> and, and, and that was, this is what I'm saying is something's happening. It's a now thing. I think the enemy thought he had his big old foot on the church's neck. And I'm not just talking about this church. I'm talking about the body of Christ all around the world. And he thought he had the church defeated. And he thought he had it. But all of a sudden, there's a voice out of heaven sounded. And listen to me. The voice was the breath of God. And the Bible says, in the last days. I shall pour out of my spirit upon 
And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit began to blow. <laughs> when the Holy Spirit blows, nothing can stop it. Amen. Man, I love the Lord. I don't know about nobody else. I feel like a different person. Can you imagine? This is what you see. Just because God spoke life to the church, that doesn't mean our job's over. It's just begun. When Jesus spoke to Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come forth. But then what did he tell the people around him and tell Lazarus? Get the grave clothes off that man. The Lord just spoke life. Lazarus and his friends had to yank the deaf clothes off. You say, Pastor, what's the deaf clothes? Doubt, unbelief. Saying, oh, it ain't for me. I can't do it. That's the death code. Get rid of the death code because we are the chosen generation. The royal priesthood. When the apostle, when, when, the, when the apostle began to talk about the, the lively stone. Being a lively stone and Jesus being the cornerstone. And then he goes on and says that Jesus is the foundation. He ends this up by saying that we are the royal priesthood. And if you read that, you know why he calls us the royal priesthood? Because he says, you are called out of darkness to praise him. Is that what it says? Read it. He, we're called out of this that we can give God some praise. <laughs> so let's, let's be that lively church and praise the Lord. Amen. You know Noah's fired up too, buddy. We could sing that Johnny Cash song. I hear that train a coming. I'm telling you, let me tell you, these people that wrote these songs were Christians first. You, do you think that they inspired them songs? I'm telling you, music come from God. So I'm going to tell you, we need to listen because there's a train a coming. I just lost some, gained some. <laughs> All them Johnny Cash people like me now. <laughs> oh, mercy. But that's, uh, it's so true. We, we don't listen. We don't hear it. You can be in the middle of a storm and say, and miss it. I, don't, I bagged God all week and for the last two or three weeks. I said, God, I just want to be a part of it. 
and I don't want to be a hindrance. I want to be a part of it, just a part. I don't, I don't care if my name's ever mentioned. It does, none of that makes a difference because it don't matter. And I'm going to tell you, the move of God that started, I don't, you've never heard a leader of it. It's in several countries, and there's not one, not one person, because you know why? It's the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes, he does one thing. He doesn't lift up man. He lifts up Jesus. Read John 16. He said that's why he comes, to lift up Jesus. And so the Holy Spirit just comes to lift up the Lord. Amen. So God is so good. He is awesome. And uh, anybody you need prayer, have a misty thing. Amen. I don't know what you said there. Oh, yeah, don't forget Thursday and Saturday. Uh, come, come Thursday, get ready for Saturday, but let's come Saturday. And I, if, God, if God's got a word for us, and I know he does, he gave us a word today, I can't imagine what Saturday's going to be like. Six o'clock, yeah. I didn't know. Uh, I just thought, well, since it's Saturday, we'll start at, at six or at seven. And, uh, This is my tithe and offering, and it will do what God says it will do. The windows of heaven are open over me and my house, and such blessings have been released that I do not have adequate room to contain them all. I am the seed of Abraham, and the oath God swore to him is my inheritance. Therefore, I release my tithes and my offering into the fertile soil of his presence. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen. I'm also going to bless you today that this week that you'll go forward, that your spiritual ears will be open that your spiritual eyes will be open, that every step you take will be guided by the Holy Spirit, and that he will bring you back into his presence on Thursday. But you're going to have encounters, special encounters this week. Keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, when God says move, move. And I bless you today. Amen. As we dismiss, give the Lord a good hand.